Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing two incredible hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, the first feature has to do when you actually get a phone call or a notification, such as the alarm or the timer. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to call myself from my other phone and let's see what happens on the screen. Okay, so here's the number. So normally when you get a call, you can decline or accept it, obviously, but you have to actually press and swipe to accept that call. You can't just tap on the phone on the screen to accept the call. Now that has been a problem for me for a while. I don't like swiping. I just like to tap and accept or tap and decline. You can actually enable that. And let me show you how to get that done. So all you want to do is you want to go to your settings. All right, then you want to scroll all the way down and, and you want to go into accessibility, which is right here. Now, once you're there, interaction and dexterity. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to enable the assistant menu. This is just a requirement for the feature enabling. You're going to see this option. Just tap on allow. That's fine. Now, when you enable the assistant menu, there's going to be a button that you're going to see on the screen. We're going to deal with this button in a second, but go inside the menu and simply enable this option, replace swipe with single tap. You can disable or enable this to use this. This has to be enabled as well. So now I'm gonna call myself from that same number and look at what happens. Tap on it, there's that phone call, look at this. I can tap to take the call, alrighty? I'm gonna call myself one more time. I'm gonna show you tap to decline. So tap and it's decline. And this is going to also work for alarms and everything else that is available. Uh, it says here, alarms, alerts, and incoming calls by tap. So that's feature number one. Now let's talk about this menu. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with this menu to actually hide it. And also an additional hidden features. But first, a real quick message from our sponsor. And I do think you're going to love this sponsor. Guys, a quick word from today's sponsor, Omaze. I am excited to be working with Omaze to offer you a chance to win an unplugged Tesla S Apex Plaid and simultaneously support a great cause, the Juju Foundation. Now, the winner of this giveaway will lay claim to a Tesla Plaid which is customized by Unplugged Performance. This is the fastest production car in the world with a 0 to 60 of 1.99 seconds. It is an all-wheel drive car. It looks very mean with carbon fiber upgrades and it is worth $259,885. Meanwhile, Juju Foundation is a non-profit organization dedicated to the support of youth initiatives and lifting the spirits of those in need. They conduct giveaways and supply funds for the underserved youths. So a great cause, no doubt. For your chance to win an unplugged Tesla S Apex Plaid and support the amazing work of Juju Foundation, go to omaze.com slash Tech and enter now. The link will also be down below, which you can click to enter. All right, so let's go back into that settings. All right, accessibility and interaction and dexterity. So this menu can be moved anywhere that you want. All right, you may have seen this before. You may not have seen that before. It's the assistant menu. Now, I don't like to have it on the screen like this. I like to have it on the side. All you do is show as edge icon. So tap it. And it's actually going to go to the side right here, okay? Now, it's not in the way. It's on the side. And at the same time, I have this enabled. My primary purpose for enabling the assistant menu most of the time is to use this guy. But when you enable this guy, you get this menu on the screen. That does give you a lot of functionality, by the way, okay? You can even increase or decrease the transparency of this so you can see it better. Okay, it's a floating menu. I like to put it to the side. So you tap on this guy, boom, it goes to the either side. Again, you can grab it and you can put it on either side. Uh, that is the second hidden feature, all right? So first, I enable the tap feature and then I hide the assistant menu, but it's still available on tap if I need to access any one of these settings right over here. And also, if you have never seen this one before, look, you can even pull down the notification panel, as you can see. 
but if you have never seen this one before if you go to menu settings you can actually go inside and edit the items that's inside that menu so I can delete a whole bunch of these guys all right let's just have uh, screen off all right so now look at this tap I can screen off by tapping that so that's fantastic and that's it if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day, all right?